Why was the cover system removed from multiplayer? I'll pass it on to Eric. Right, well, um, we did actually test the, the cover system in multiplayer quite a lot. Uh, we did a lot of play tests just to see uh, you know, how it would work and how it would affect the gameplay. Um, but you know, because the cover system is so much more focused around like 90 degrees and multiplayer being a lot more like 360 degrees, you can be attacked from all angles. Uh, a lot of the feedback that we got was actually that, um, uh, yeah, it was, it was almost, it slowed you down. So you, could, you couldn't get out of it quick enough. And so we felt that, um, and this is also what we got from the user feedback, is that uh, they just wanted a quick way to get into cover. So just basically a normal crouch. So that's why we actually decided to go with that in, uh, approach rather than the, the, the lean and peak system. So given the strong team-based nature of multiplayer, do you have the intention or hope that Killzone 2 will become a game played in some of the professional tournaments? Oh, oh definitely. I mean, we, we have the whole in-game uh, tournament support that we, that we almost did specifically uh, you know, in the hopes that people would pick up and, and organize big events around it. Also, the, the clan system that the game features uh, really supports uh, you know, team play and competitive play as well as you know, more social play. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely hoping that you know, people will pick it up and, and uh, create uh, prize tournaments. Uh, there will, by the way, uh, also through Killzone.com, we will uh, announce events that we'll organize. So there will definitely be, uh, there will always be something going on in terms of events and tournaments. Uh, as as uh, um, Eric also said, kind of the clans and, and the way that we've set it up uh, with the clan Valor system. So people can actually bet uh, Valor points and uh, uh, the, the bigger matches will be kind of broadcast through Killzone.com as well. So we'll have spectators uh, that can actually uh, see how the game's going and then we'll report back on it, much like sports journalism. So the, the first couple of glands are going to be betting, I don't know, a million points to actually, uh, to, for the winner, we're going to be reporting on that very much like a sports match. So we do want that kind of competitive nature. We, we, we do like to, to uh, have that uh, supported through, uh, through Killzone as well. Are there any plans for downloadable content? Absolutely. Uh, downloadable content is a large uh, part of what, what we're trying to do because obviously it's, it's kind of a given uh, these days that, well, you want to, Kind of uh, breathe life into the uh, uh, or continue to breathe life into the to your franchise, but at the same time, there's a lot of things during uh, production that kind of fall off the radar, or where uh, actually I have to say, sorry, not going to happen. Uh, at least not for the finished uh, for the boxed product. Uh, but we can postpone it for downloadable content because it, at some point you have to draw a line and say people are expecting this game to be on the shelf now. So. We have to stop developing. We have to stop polishing uh, because it's it's good enough. But some of the ideas are just too good to throw away. So uh, there's there's always room for downloadable content. We're not talking about the specifics yet, but there will be downloadable content. Something. Um, what we're also looking at is because when the game is out, you know, there's going to be a lot of reactions from the users, and there's going to be <clears throat> a lot of talk about the game, and then there's probably going to be some sort of like wishes as well from the community, like saying like, you know, maybe we can have more of this, more of that, and we want to tune our downloadable content more towards that as well. So we're kind of giving back to the community in, uh, in, in that sense after the game has been released. So that, that should be quite cool as well. We hope everybody's looking forward to the game as much as we've, uh, uh, we've enjoyed making it because uh, it's, it's, it's a big deal for us. Uh, we're, we're very, very happy that uh, the game's going to be out there, 26th of Feb. Uh, you guys are actually going to be the first to get your hands on the game. So make sure you're on top of the leaderboards and stay there.